do you have a favorite dinosaur? Most of us do have a favorite dinosaur, and for many, that is the Tyrannosaurus rex or T-Rex. This T-Rex behind me is nicknamed Scotty. Imagine walking through a beautiful river valley in southwestern Saskatchewan. As you walk, you are looking at the ground for fossils. Suddenly, you notice a large fossil vertebra sticking out of the valley side. Can you imagine? This is what happened in August 1991 to school teacher Robert Gebhardt. He was out searching for fossils with two Royal Saskatchewan Museum paleontologists. It turns out that his find was the vertebra from a Tyrannosaurus rex. And what an amazing find it turned out to be. Scotty the T-Rex was found in the beautiful Frenchman River Valley near the town of East End in southwestern Saskatchewan. The rocks in this part of the valley are sedimentary rocks deposited in the late Cretaceous around 66 million years ago, right before the end of the age of the dinosaurs. That first fossil bone that was found turned out to be the 21st caudal or tail vertebra. They didn't know it at the time, but much more of Scotty was there in the valley side waiting to be uncovered. Eventually, 65% of the fossil skeleton would be found. Scotty the T-Rex is named after a celebratory bottle of scotch. Removal of the fossil from the hillside was a very difficult job. The quarry was opened more than once during five field seasons between 1994 and 95, as well as during 2000 to 2003. Machines such as cranes and even a team of horses assisted in removing the heavy burlap and plaster wrapped blocks of rock that encased the fossil pieces. Excavation work also required jackhammers, air chisels, picks, shovels, and more. The quarry was not an easy place to work, with temperatures reaching as high as 52 degrees Celsius. The last part of Scotty to be removed from the quarry was a large fossil phalanx, or toe bone. All of the rock encased fossil pieces were taken to the T-Rex Discovery Center lab in East End, Saskatchewan. Much more work needed to be done in the lab to remove the fossil from the hard sandstone and ironstone that it was encased in. Paleontology curatorial assistants and volunteers used many tools to do the arduous work of getting Scotty out of the rock. These tools included air scribes, chisels, and glue, to name a few. Preparation and removal of the T-Rex fossil out of the rock matrix was completed on March 9, 2011. It took 20 continuous person years for the work to be completed. Is this the real fossil? That's a good question. The Scotty found in the CN T-Rex gallery and the Scotty found in the T-Rex Discovery Center are replicas of the original fossil. The replica is created from a mold and cast of the original fossil and made of resin and fiberglass on a metal armature what about the parts of the skeleton that were not found? Another good question. These were made using mirror images of the opposite side or based on other T-Rex fossils that have been found. You may be wondering if Scotty the T-Rex is male or female. We don't know for sure. Sometimes studies on dinosaur bones show a special layer called medullary bone. This special layer is only found in females who are preparing to lay eggs. Just because that layer wasn't found in Scotty the T-Rex isn't proof that Scotty was male. There has been some suggestion that the more robust T-Rexes were female, so perhaps Scotty is a female. Unfortunately, we don't have any conclusive evidence either way. Speaking of robust, Scotty is the most massive T-Rex that has ever been found. Scotty would have weighed 8,800 kilograms, or equivalent to the weight of five and a half Volkswagen Beetles. That's the average weight of 400 grade two students. Tyrannosaurus rex wasn't the only dinosaur roaming Saskatchewan during the late Cretaceous. There were also Triceratops, Hadrosaur or duckbill dinosaurs, Truodon, Dromaeosaur, and Ankylosaur dinosaurs, to name a few. 
Other animals included small mammals and reptiles such as turtles, snakes, and crocodiles. Saskatchewan was a very different place than it is now. Plant fossils show that southern Saskatchewan was part of a swampy redwood forest during the time that Scotty lived here. What would Scotty eat? If we look at these banana-sized teeth, we can see that they are large and have serrations on them like knives. These teeth, along with a very strong jaw, would allow this carnivore, Scotty, to bite through and even explode the bones of its prey. This coprolite was found near the location that Scotty was found. Coprolite is fossilized dung. Study of the coprolite has shown that it contains shards of young hadrosaur or triceratops bones. This is evidence of the ability of T. rex to pulverize its prey. When we think about T. rexes in the movies, we can imagine the roar. Studies of the brain case inside the skull of T. rex fossils show how parts of the T. rex brain developed. These studies have shown that T. rex hearing was very well developed for hearing low calls. Taking that and the size of the T. rex into consideration, researchers determined that the call of Scotty and other T. rexes would have been very low, perhaps too low for us to hear. However, we would have been able to feel the vibrations of the call in the ground. How ominous. Come visit us at the CN T-Rex Gallery so that you can push the button for the T-Rex call and feel the vibrations. Juvenile T-Rex would have had a higher call because they had smaller body size. Scotty led an exciting life, and its fossil shows evidence of this. There are several healed injuries on Scotty, including broken ribs, damaged tail vertebrae, and injuries to its face. There is also signs that Scotty suffered from a condition similar to osteoporosis, which is an indicator that Scotty lived to an advanced age. Would Scotty have had feathers? Probably. No T-Rex feathers have been found preserved. However, evidence for feathers have been found in other theropod dinosaurs, leading paleontologists to suggest that T. rex likely also had feathers. Feathers are especially probable in young T. rex hatchlings to help them stay warm. Tyrannosaurus rex has been the provincial fossil of Saskatchewan since 2018. This is a good choice for this province since Saskatchewan is the home of Scotty, the world's most massive T. rex. Thanks for exploring this amazing T-Rex with me today. I hope that you'll have a chance to come visit us here at the CN T-Rex Gallery in the Royal Saskatchewan Museum or in East End at the T-Rex Discovery Centre so that you can see Scotty in person. <laughs>